welcome to NTK Tech Talk. We have a 2015 Hyundai Elantra uh, engine uh, that we're going to be talking about cable crank sensors. On this particular application, when I look at the wiring diagram, it shows that it has a um, two cam sensors, one crank, and it looks like they're Hall effect. But on some applications too, they may have a, a VR type sensor. Uh, and let's talk about those type of sensors for a minute. Uh, when we talk about a VR type cam or crank sensor, uh, we want to make sure we understand that with this technology, the PCM is looking at peak to peak voltages. And uh, in comparison to a whole effect as well, you're looking for that nice five volt square wave type of digital signal. So understanding the difference between the two, especially when you're trying to troubleshoot, is very, very important. Now, when troubleshooting camera crank sensors, especially on this particular application, this is a dual overhead cam, 16 valve. We want to be able to make sure that we have the proper access points and access in the camera crank sensors. So when you are utilizing your oscilloscope or even when utilizing your scan tool, you want to make sure that you're uh, set yourself up for the most effective diagnostic approach. What do I mean by that? Well, when you look at your scan tool data pits, right away I see if this had an intermittent camera crank sensor signal issue in which the car starts up and runs fine at times, but other times it doesn't. One of the things that I want to do right away is click on my data pit for cam and crank synchronization. It would say yes or no. I'm going to hit record and I'm going to go to road test. And I want to see whether that yes or no is camera crank synchronization status changes from yes to no within my, my road test. And right through that diagnostic process is validating what? That we lost synchronization between camera and crank at some point. So it gives us a really good direction to go in from that point in order to continue our testing. Of course, we're going to, uh, at that point, want to put our digital oscilloscope in testing our cam and crank. And that's where I get back on understanding the type of sensors first, because when you go look at a wiring diagram, you're going to have to see whether, hey, it's a three wire uh, Hall effect or magnum resistive type uh, sensor, or it's a VR sensor where it's looking at that frequency of the amplitude of the signal. Keep in mind, peak to peak voltages on especially VR cam and crank sensors are critical to monitor because if that amplitude of the signal is not up to par with what the computer is expecting to see, that's where you could get an intermittent uh, issue, meaning no start, stall, shut down, restart. And of course, we are expecting to see some sort of codes when it comes to that. Some common codes too is the, is the P0339. And when you see that type of code, it's telling you you have an intimate loss of the signals. So be expecting some codes to be set as well and follow the diagnostic steps in troubleshooting those codes and verifying your power and grounds are good and also using an oscilloscope on your signal line along with a scan tool data pid on seeing whether the camera crank synchronization is present. I'm Philip Austin, manager of NGK Training and Development for Natura North America. Thank you for watching.